Good afternoon, everyone. I am back. I'm Lucha FM, and I currently have been um, booking, um, promoting a um, Fight Club Pro. And we unfortunately come back to sad news that Martina has been exclusively hired by TNA on exclusive written contract. Now, I don't I think that means that? Yeah, we uh, we no longer have Martina. I don't think. Oh no. Handshake deal, so we still got her, but it means basically we're bottom of her priorities now. So it's going to be a bit bad when it comes to booking the um, storyline with her and Ginny. But I might just eliminate Martina because the storyline's not that long and um, put somebody else in, I think. And also Joe Nelson as well, who is Kid Like Us 2, I think. Um, let me just look personal info. Alter egos in it. Alter egos. Yeah, kid like us too. So he's currently injured as well. So uh, let's just check on that, and then I'll go through the what we've been doing so far. Um, medical. Where is it? There you are. Ah, uh, okay. So it should be alright. He must have got injured. So I processed from the last show of holiday to this show. So he probably would have already come back by that point um so yeah so let's just go through the show histories and give you a little look uh i always have to keep checking to make sure you can see what i can see because the way this game is produced it makes it very hard to stream so we we kicked off the first show of this save um with the main event of kenny williams defeating kid like us 2 to win the fcp heavyweight title which got an 82 rating we also had a, a decent match between joseph connor's uh, Amir Jordan, Ashton Smith and TK Cooper um, we got a 78 rating for that and a 56 attendance the next show didn't do that well we only got a show rating of 41 and f attendance of 58 which weren't too bad the attendance wasn't, the attendance wasn't too bad but the show rating wasn't very good um, Martina defeating Ginny got a 76 rating which was the best match of the night the main event was the Hunters defeating the Dynamic Duo which is the Billington Brothers in a TLC match so um, basically it was my fault because I wanted to book the Dream Tag Team Invitational. So I wanted it to be a, a tag team tournament type of thing. So we did the Hunter Brothers defeating Kenny Williams and Joseph Connors, which got a uh, 64 rating. And then we had the Dynamic Duo defeating Destination Everywhere, which I, I think is Oku and Connor Mills. I could be wrong. That got a 66 rating. Um... And then the Hunter Brothers defeated the Dynamic Duo in the TLC match um, to retain the titles and also win the Dream the Dream Tag Team Invitational. That was probably our worst show of the the, what, the lot so far. We bounced back with a main event of Kenny Williams defeating Joseph Connors, Morgan Webster, and Luke Jacobs to retain the Fight Club Pro Heavyweight Title. Got an eighty one rating as well. Uh, there wasn't any other standout moments in that show. We got a, we only got thirty people in attendance though, which was a bit poor. Um, and then we our last show was um, Planet Terror, um, which is which is basically they used to run shows in a nightclub, a rock nightclub called Planet in Wolverhampton. I've been to uh, quite a few times, and it's very grungy. Um, but it, it's it's perfect to run a wrestling show, and I was gutted when they stopped running shows there. Their new venue was was good, don't get me wrong, but it just didn't have that that feel that the planet had. So yeah, so it was a bit sad when that went. But um, yeah, we had Kenny Williams defeating Omari in the main event to retain the title, uh, and there wasn't really anything else that stood out really. Mark Bill, so I did like a to prolong the storyline with the tag teams. I did them. I had them wrestle each other in the singles matches. Fortunately, Jim Hunters, I think he got an injury in real life, so he on here he can't really wrestle for very long. So um, I might not have I might have to keep doing tag team matches with the Hunters instead of having Jim in singles matches because I don't think he can handle the pace of a twenty minute match, unfortunately, which is a shame. Um, but yeah, I, know, I think there wasn't any. Oh yeah, Sadie Gibbs, I've released Sadie Gibbs because she kept wanting a pay increase and it was ridiculous, her demands, so I got rid of her, so she's gone. 
Um, that's the only other bit of news I need to tell you. But yeah, 59 people attended, so we the attendance bounced back. And we got a show rating 65, so not too bad. So this show coming up, I want to try and make it the best show I've done so far, hopefully. Um, so we'll just see how it goes. But yeah, let's... But uh, it takes ages to process a whole month on TW. I don't know if anybody else has noticed that. Um, so moving forward, maybe in a few months' time, I might try and do a weekly show, uh, try and get a TV deal at some point with that weekly show, but just a weekly event to... Just a one-hour weekly event just to break it up a bit. Um, but yeah, right. So let's just book this show then. Um so we'll start the show with a one-on-one -on -one match, and I think we'll do, we'll just tick that first, and then we'll do male, I think maybe Sam Bailey, I don't know. Um, Morgan Webster, he is a babyface, so we need to find a heel for him to go against. Uh, TK Cooper, probably. I think that would be a good singles match. So um, we'll do steal the show for that one because I think they're two high flyers. So I think it would be a good match. Uh, try that. I think that's going to back for actually. I'm I'm not going to do steal the show for that one. We'll do regular for that one. Uh, let's do a women's match now. We'll do a one-on-one -on -one women's match. I'm going to try and keep them one-on-one -on -one matches in this show because it costs more money to book loads of wrestlers. So we'll do... So Martina is still here, actually. Um, but I'm thinking maybe Millie McKenzie will replace her in the storyline eventually. Uh, best friends in real life. Charlie Evans and Millie McKenzie. We'll add Millie win that one. Open match. Decisive win. We'll put that. Right, let's do one. Let's do a tag team match. Um, we'll do the Hunter Brothers versus the Dynamic Duo. Uh, for the tag team titles. Do 18 minutes. Uh, we'll put um, storytelling for that one. We'll do storytelling. We'll leave it undecided, so we'll let the AI book the person that wins that. Uh, right, how long have we done so far? 59 minutes, so we've probably got enough time for one more match, so we'll just do an angle first. Actually, no, we'll do the match first and we'll do the angle afterwards because I need to figure out who. So we're doing Kenny Williams. Uh, heavyweight title. And then um, maybe Jack Stars, maybe Michael Oki. Yeah, we'll do Michael Oki this time. We'll do 23 minutes. Kenny Williams winner, we'll do Steal the Show, Open Match. Decisive win, right. Oh, we still got, I oh know we need to do an angle, don't we? Kenny Williams, Entertainment, Michael Oku, Entertainment. Six minutes. Uh, that needs to be pushed up to the top.
Right. Probably need to do Kid Lycos in a match now as well, I think. Uh, 112, so we still haven't done... Okay, we need to do one more match, I think. Right, do Kid Lycos. And we'll have him against Joseph Connors. Um, bear with us. I've just got to pause this. Just bear with us. Right, and I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, my girlfriend was ringing me. I thought it was like an emergency situation because she's at work. She wouldn't normally ring me. Um, no, it was an every driver who was trying to buzz to uh, get through to the first floor to give me my parcel because my, my girlfriend's ordered some dog stuff. But anyway, sorry about that. So that, if that was a bit weird, that's something I had to go. Don't worry. It's just... You know what it's like when you're trying to record and then everybody wants to get in, everybody wants to bloody interrupt you. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so we're going Kid Lycos 2 versus Joseph Connors to book um, to basically start the show. I'm just going to up this by two minutes as well. There we go. Right then, so we've got Kid Lycos 2 versus Joseph Connors in the first match. Morgan Webster versus TK Cooper in the second match. Millie McKenzie versus Charlie Evans in the third match. And then we've got the Hunter Brothers versus the, the dynamic duo of the Billington Brothers um, in the, basically, for the tag team titles um, in the semi-final main event. And then we've got um, Kenny Williams versus Michael Oku in the um, main event. I just want to check that I've got Kenny Williams to win. Yeah, it's all right. Right then, let's start the show. So, uh, Joseph Connors defeats Kid Like Us 2, and that got a 75 rating. Um, match was a little bit too short, which is a shame. Um, so, I should have, in hindsight, I should have probably made that longer, but I thought doing less, doing more than 20 minutes because of Joseph Connors, I didn't think he'd be able to do it. But anyway, uh, and also, Kid Like Us 2's only just come back from an injury, so we still got a 75 rating for, for the match, which is pretty good. So yeah, so I'm happy with that. And it shows the start. It, it, it gets the show off on a strong start, as it says. Um, TK Cooper defeated Morgan Webster. And that got a 70 rating. Again, this match was a little too short, but I was limited because TK Cooper couldn't do 20 minutes matches. But still got a 70 rating, so it's still good. Millie McKenzie defeated Charlie Evans. Only got a 52 rating, which is a shame, really, because Millie McKenzie... Um, and Charlie Evans are very good women wrestlers, so they should have got more. They should have more respect on the name. Ah, I forgot to uh, get rid of Sticks as a road agent before this show. Right, I'm just going to quickly double check that the next three matches don't have him in as a road agent. No, so that's good. Make sure that angle doesn't have him. No. Oh no, that's announcers. Um, I was looking at the wrong thing then. Right, let me just check. Road agent, that's all right. I was right. And then the main event. Yeah, we'll definitely get rid of sticks after this one. Right, uh, let's carry on the show. So the tag team title match, um, the dynamic duo defeat the Hunter Brothers to win the, the FCP tag team titles. And the match was a little bit too short, but again, I'm limited in the fact that Jim Hunter can't really go that long. So um, got a 60 rating, which ain't too bad. The angle with Kenny Williams and Mike Loku, and he got a 44 rating. Um, I, I should have put Mike Loku on script. That's my mistake. Right, let's have a look. So the main event only got 68 rating. I think Michael Oku is very underrated on here. I might have to tinker with the editor to make him a little bit better. Um, but yeah, Kenny Williams uh, retains his title. Um, the match dragged at the end. It was too long for the workers. So maybe if I... I should have done a shorter match with the all-out... The fact that I'm trying, I was trying to get um, still the show. So maybe I should have done a little bit less. Uh, but yeah... These are things I'm learning as I'm going along. 
But we got a 68 rating, so uh, that's pretty good. And we've increased our popularity in, in the region that we're in. So we're slowly getting better and better in the uh, Midlands, which is good. Uh, we'll just wait for this to process first. But it's not too bad of a show. I didn't see the attendance. I forgot to look. I'll have a look at that in a second. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. We'll just wait for this to load up. A bit disappointed in the main event, but then that's probably more to do with the way I booked it more than anything else. I think if I redid that main event in, as a regular match, um, in, in a 20 minute match instead of 23 minutes it probably will get a better rating um, taking a while though this is uh, right there we go God. Uh, I'll give you 50% increase. Noid. Well, tough look. Right, let's get rid of sticks. Right, let's get rid of them. We've got rid of them. Right then, um, we'll be back shortly with the next show. Um, just bear with us and yeah, I'll, sp I'll see you in a minute. Hello, and I'm back. Um, you may be wondering why I'm wearing a different shirt in the in this video. Basically, I didn't have enough time to finish the video the other day, so I'm finishing it now. So hence why I've got this shirt on. It's a very fetching Rake Rovers football shirt. So uh, for people who are wondering why I'm wearing a Rake Rovers shirt, look at my YouTube channel. You'll see for yourself. I am currently manage them on Football Manager, so check it out. But anyway. Um, Basically, what happened was I tried to start recording this episode and my mic stopped working, so um, I had to delete that video. So unfortunately, the last show that I did, you won't be able to see. So I'm going to try and show you now, but I've got to, you just got to bear with me because unfortunately the software I use, I have to keep adding the screen so it's not going to run as smooth as I would like. So we're going to show history now. So you can't see that, so I have to add it. There we go. So, I'll just bear with us. Right, so, yeah. So the last show we did was called Pulp Fiction, or Pulp Fiction. I, I can't remember, I don't know how you pronounce it. I, think, I presume it's Pulp Fiction, but they're just trying to be cute by putting XX on it. But yeah, so we had Aaliyah James defeated Danny Luna. So this was a match I just put together at the end after I did the other, the rest of the matches. Um, it started the show well, apparently. They worked together well, so that's good. Um, only got 57, but, you know, they're two relatively young wrestlers, so you can't really argue about it too much. Um, Joseph Connor defeated Morgan Webster, got a 74 rating. The Dynamic Duo defeated the Hunter Brothers and a put-together tag team with Jack Stars and Omari, because I didn't have any other tag teams. So that got a 70 rating. And then we had Ginny defeating Martina, which was the match of the night. Got a 79 rating. Unfortunately, Martina has left now. She's gone to AEW, I think. Um, but she's actually officially gone now. And then we did TK Cooper defeating Michael Oku. This was a bit of a backfire on me because I did it high spots uh, match. And it did, obviously didn't go very well. And then Kenny Williams defeated Kid Lycos 2 to retain his heavyweight title. Only got 70 rating. They've had a better match at the last show, uh, the first show that we did. Um, I was trying to basically replicate that match, but I went with 25 minutes and um, still the show, hoping it would get a better rating than it did before, but it didn't. It backfired on me, so that's a lesson learned. But we managed to get um, the best attendance that we've had so far, 61. We did improve the popularity in that region that we're in, and the show rating got a 72, which is probably the best show we've done since since the first show so second best show we've done so far so that's good um the other bit of news is if i just click on this and then see if you can see what i can see 
you can. That's lucky. Right, so um, I formed a new stable. I formed the British Empire because I couldn't think of anything else um, at the time. So we've got Kenny Williams as the leader, Joseph Connor as the deputy, the Billington brothers is there in there, and Ginny support. Um, Ginny has excellent chemistry with Joseph Connors, so she is managing all four of these now. So that's good. And then the, the other bit of news I need to tell you, I'll just click on this first so you can see it, you can. Uh, let me just expand it on the screen so you can see it a little bit better. There we go. Right, so I formed a new alliance after um, uh, a, a great person called Max Hit Matt on Twitch. Um, follow him on there, he is very good at TW. He's doing very well in his local to global save that he does with his friend on Twitch at the moment. So they're doing really well. Um, and he, one of the tips he gave me was to try and make money is to form an alliance. So that's what I've done. And I've got quite a few good promotions there. Deadlock Pro, um, which is a new promotion that's doing relatively well at the moment on the indie scene in America. We've got Defy, which is, which is another good promotion that's doing well at the moment. Over the Top Wrestling, which I've been to one of their shows there, uh, based in Ireland, but they they go around um, UK, uh, England and every, and I think they go around to America as well, so they are doing very well. And then obviously Pro Wrestling Gorilla, we all know about Pro Wrestling Gorilla. They um, have helped a lot of wrestlers' careers and they've had some of the best matches ever. We've got Pro Wrestling Eve, which is a women's only promotion, and um, Ring of Honor as well, which I was amazed about. And uh, this one called Seedlings, I don't know what I don't know what that is. I think it's a Japanese women's wrestling promotion. Shine Wrestling, which again I think is another women's only promotion, and then Wrestling Revolver as well, which is Sammy Callahan's promotion that do quite well. So yeah, so hopefully that will bring us in. There's like what it says here. Um, basically, contribute all profits to a pot that then gets shared out equally between members. And propose talent trades with other members so that's good so i could probably look at maybe like pro wrestling um no where is it pro wrestling Eve. i could do with some women wrestlers so um because Jin, um, Ginny martina's left and then so if we just click on view and then we look at the roster they've already got Leah james shakara uh charlie i would say it's a british one this one actually pro wrestling Eve. so Emily Reed. So we could look at maybe some of these and we could just bring them in on a oh they've got Ginny as well. The Killer Kelly. Shall we see if we can negotiate? Uh actually no hold on. Uh uh just ignore me. Right, I need to just I'm I'm having a brain fart. Right. I'll see if I can just bring her in because she's only once ninety nine pounds a show. I need to have a look though to make sure we're not paying for travel costs. She'll be like the one of the few Americans that we have here. She's already comes down to watch, comes down for the uh, wrestle for these as well. So uh, just seeing if there's anybody else that stands out really. Obviously they've got Minnie McKenzie, Nina Samuels as well. So they share a lot of the same wrestlers already. Don't know who that is. Don't know who that is. Referee. Um, yeah, so that's that really. So that's just catching you up. I, you might not have seen what I was looking at then. Sorry, I forgot to check. You probably couldn't see the Pro Wrestling Eve roster, so I apologise if none of that made sense. But I'm trying to always constantly remember that you can't see everything that I can see on the screen. Uh, but yeah, so right, so that's storyline. Oh, here we go. We've got an error. All right, let's get rid of that. Um, right, storylines. And then what we need to do is, because Martina's left, so we need to add somebody in there to replace her. We need to look at women, not in a storyline. And then we need to, um, the position we need to face. We need to look at somebody, Danny Luna maybe. I would say Millie McKenzie, but she doesn't, she's not. I'm going to put Millie McKenzie in there actually. And then if we can alter the storyline, we'll just type in Millie. So Ginny versus Millie. Hopefully Ginny can carry her into a, to have a good match. If not, we'll look into changing that or ending the storyline. But it's considered hot at the moment, 75, so that's good. 
Tag feud is is considered hot as well. And then also the the main storyline, Kenny Williams and his kid Lycos. So um right, so we haven't got another show for twenty minutes. So this this bit is just a basic recap of what happened before. So I'll be back in a bit with the next part of the episode and we'll do the last show of this episode. All right, just bear with sorry this has been a bit of a mess this episode. Right, we're back for the next show. Um Again, I'm sorry for all the sorts of the technical issues we've been having, the audio issues. Audio issues. Unfortunately, I have a mic that's very, very temperamental with the software that I use, and the slightest knock, it, it stops the mic working. So, um, yeah, which is really annoying. So until I can afford a new one, I'm kind of stuck in the situation at the moment. So, uh, yeah. But anyway, we're on to our next show. Uh, Martina's no longer with us, so we'll start the show with Ginny versus Millie. Hopefully this will be a good match. Um, do 20 minutes. We'll have Ginny as the winner. We'll have open match. I'll put that one. And then um, We'll do an angle afterwards with Ginny beating down Millie. So we'll do fighting, Millie selling. Uh, right, so next match is going to be, I think, a three versus three match this one. Actually, no, four versus four. Uh, no, three versus three, sorry. And we'll do Joseph Connors and the Billington Brothers versus, right, uh, we need it to be Lee and Jim Hunter. And then, uh, Sam, no, not Sam Bailey. Morgan Webster? Morgan Webster. Uh, can't, can't. Ugh. It's just one of them days, isn't it? I'll just wish it's one of them days where you just wish you'd go back to bed. And uh right. And then uh Oh we've got some new road agents by the way. Um I'll tell you about them in a minute. Let me just do this first. Should we go storytelling maybe? Not eye candy. Um, storytelling. We we'll do that and that. Right. Let me just. Uh, mm, there. Sometimes I get the biggest. I just get a brain fart and I can't figure out what I'm doing. Right. Uh, roll. Road agent. So yeah. So we've got. Oh, we've already got Doug Williams. I thought we haven't done it, but we've already got Doug Williams. Right, so we've got Doug Williams. And then I recently got Jim Smallman, uh, uh, Madman Manson, and Ricky Knight in as road agents. So hopefully they will do better than what we've had before. And then we'll get, have some settled road agents then, but we can, we can only hope. Right, so we'll do an angle now. And we'll do Kenny Williams, microphone, and then who are we going to have against him? I don't want to do Kid Lycos again for a bit now. Should we do Ashton Smith, maybe? Should we do that? Push that up here. Uh, push that. I don't know. Wrong way. Yeah, so... And then we'll do Kenny Williams versus Ashton Smith. Let's we'll do 20 minutes regular match. We'll have Kenny win it. We'll do... Uh, no, I'll leave it as regular match. I'm a bit wary about doing... Steal the show at the moment. So after the last show. 
Right, so that's them. Right, we do need to do some other matches. We're only doing 79 minutes, so let's just pick some more matches now. So do a one on one match. Uh, should we do another women's match? Yeah, I think we'll do another women's match. We'll do Killer Kelly. Baby face, so we'll do her versus Lee James, maybe. Do open match. We'll do mm, leave it as normal, I think. And then we need to do a steal the show match, I think. We just got to take the risk, really, and hope for the best. Uh, he'd like us to. He's a baby face, so we need to find a heel. Uh, TK Cooper, maybe. We'll do uh, 15 minutes. Actually, we won't do still the show. Um, we'll just leave it as a regular match because. I think if we do steal the show, it will backfire on us. Uh, we've still, we've still got to do another match, I think. All right, let's do, do a normal. Let's just do a tag team match, and we'll just throw a couple of people together. See what happens. Who have we got on the babyface side? Connor Mills, maybe. Luke Jacobs, maybe. Here we go. Omari and Sam Bailey. Yeah, Omari. Sam Bailey. And then we'll do heels. Liam Slater. And then Therese. There you go. There we go. Right, let's have a look at the booking analysis. Let's see what uh Right, so having two have it, not have any matches in match aim still show, so we we have actually got to pick one as much as still show. We're just gonna to have to take the risk here. So still the show. Okay, so we now have to take this down 15 minutes. Okay, so let's just hope for the best now. All right, let me just see if you can see what I see. Yeah, you can. So we started the show with uh, two tag teams put together. Um, got the, the match got the show off to a strong start. Amari and Sam Bailey won. And then uh, Doris carried the match in the ring. So how did Doris do? He got 67. So that's uh, something to bear in mind. Maybe we need to push him in a singles role. Maybe put him on mid-card, high card, high or high of the card. All right, so... Hit Lycos versus TK Cooper got 69. Uh, it was a little too short for the important match at the eyes of the audience. But obviously we're limited because you can't really put TK Cooper in a long match. But yeah, they got the crowd, they got the crowd higher, so we're building up the crowd a bit now. Uh, this match probably <laughs> put them down a bit though. Um, unfortunately, Killer Kelly and Aaliyah James do not seem to click, so that's not good. Uh, Killer Kelly won that match with the super kick, got 45 rating. Killer Kelly sustained a injury. I'm not even going to pronounce that. Aaliyah James has got a lot of heat for that as well, so that's not good. Right, so in the three versus three match, um, the uh, British Empire defeated Morgan Webster and Hunter Brothers, got a 67 rating. Uh, let's have a look to the Morgan Webster and Joseph Connors were probably the standout performers. Uh, obviously, Joseph Connors and Ginny have excellent chemistry together. And uh, Ginny managed to get a 69 rated match out of Minnie McKenzie. Uh, Minnie McKenzie's really not. I might have to tinker with her a little bit on the editor because I think it's, it's really harsh because she is one of the best workers in England, especially on the women's side. So, yeah, but anyway. Mark, oh, sorry, Madman Manson could have done a better job, so that's 
not good. Right, let's check to see if he's not in any other. No, so he's alright on that one. Uh, no, and then let's try, let's check this one out. That's Steve Logan, that's fine. Let's carry on the show. Uh, the beatdown angle of afterwards only got a 35 rating. Um, but it, it, it helped with the storyline, which is what we want. And then uh, the angle with Ashton Smith and Kenny Williams to set up that match got a 38 rating. Both did well in the segment. I think, oh, Ginny helped Kenny Williams as well, so that's good. And then the match, oh, that's such a shame. The match got a 58 rating. Why did it get a 58 rating? Oh, God, Kenny, Kenny Williams has sustained a sprained LCL. Uh, he's still got an 81 rating. It was uh, Ashton Smith that didn't do very well. It was too short as well. Uh, Kenny Williams looked excellent out there. So, uh, right, sprained. So we'll have a look in a minute. We did still manage to increase popularity. We only got 58 rating, and we only got 30 people for that show. So there was a, that was a bit of a poor show, really, to be honest. Uh, I think next episode, I think I'm going to try and focus on now produce instead of just try and experiment, I'd stick to a formula for a bit, try and use our best workers in, in the best matches possible. Maybe look to bring in some new ones as well if they can add something. Maybe some more British wrestlers, but not necessarily local to the area. Try and expand the roster a bit because I feel like we're using a lot of the same wrestlers. Um, and now we've got that alliance, we will have more money coming in at the end of the month. So I think what I'll do is I'll wait till the end of the month, see what happens. Right, let's just check the news items on here. Kenny Williams is injured, obviously Killer Kelly's injured. So uh, let me just check that you can see what I can see. You probably can't. I don't know. So we look at medical can you see that yeah you can that's right so kenny williams is now out for 25 days can only work angles um killer kelly oh pardon me killer kelly is only out for six days so that's not too bad michael oak is up for five days so yeah so i'll um that's an end to that episode then and uh next episode we'll see what, what we're doing at the moment, our uh, finances aren't the best. We're six grand in the hole in the red. So hopefully we'll have to try and figure something out with that one. But anyway, thank you as always for following. Uh, like I said, sorry it's been a bit all over this, all over the place. But I'll get there eventually and we'll be consistent. I'm, trying to, I'm going to try and do two episodes a week of this save on YouTube. I'm also on Twitch Mondays and Tuesdays doing another local to global save on TW 2020. So follow me on Twitch, um, twitch.tv forward slash LuchaFM. Um, so yeah, so I'll be there 2 p.m. on uh, today on Monday and 2 p.m. on Tuesdays as well. So I would like to see some newbies on there. So come along if you watch the videos and you want to come watch me, chat to me while I'm trying to book um, my custom promotion, which is called Baxter Pro Wrestling, named after my little dog. Um, so I'm, I'm in that one, I'm based in the tri-state area of America. So yeah, and I have no style at all, so anything goes. So yeah, right then, on that note, say goodbye, Baxter. Bye-bye. Right, cheers for following. All the best. Bye.